In this video we will take a look at how an afterburner really works. We will go inside the fighter jet engine. How fuel is injected in the afterburner at a very high rate. How an afterburner is activated inside the cockpit. How much fuel is consumed during afterburner. And much much more. So stay tuned. We will cover each of these topics in detail. An afterburner is used in fighter jets to attain high speeds in a very short period of time without adding a gigantic engine, like the one used in commercial airplanes. An afterburner is especially used during dogfight maneuvers and to have shorter and quicker takeoff. Speed and agility are the key factors in winning or losing in dogfights and afterburner is the answer to a quick response in attacking the enemy or evading a missile chase. Air Inlet So the story of a jet engine starts from the air inlet. Here you see the maintenance is being carried out for the F-16 to inspect the air inlet and fans of the jet engine. These are the fans of the engine, as the engine mechanics of a jet engine starts from this point. Engine To understand in depth, let's take out the engine of a fighter jet to see the parts inside. An F-16 engine provides 30,000 pounds of thrust, and can fly twice the speed of sound, also known as Mach 2 speed. It's quite interesting to know that the weight of the fuel is around 30-40% to 40 of the total weight of a fighter jet. This is the engine used in the F-4 Phantom fighter jet. As the basic principle is the same for all fighter jet engines, we will go through the details to understand how fighter jet engines and afterburners work together. All fighter jet engines consist of five main parts, fan, compressor, combustor, turbine and lastly the afterburner. The main function of a jet engine is to create thrust based on two principles, compressed air and hot air. More the compression and temperature of the air, leaving the engine, more is the thrust produced. A fan rotates to push the air backwards to create thrust. A compressor compresses the air by using a series of blades. You can see a series of blades which rotate to increase the compression in the airflow. Each series of blades increases compression of air by 1.1 times. The second principle is the high temperature of air leaving the engine. The phenomenon used here is high temperature gases have high energy contents. The afterburner increases thrust primarily by accelerating the exhaust gas to a higher velocity. And this is the sole purpose of an afterburner. In a combustor, fuel is injected to make the air hotter. The afterburner. In the afterburner. A very high amount of fuel is injected which can increase the temperature at around 1700 degrees Celsius. An afterburner consists of only two parts, a flame igniter and fuel injector. The major portion of an afterburner is empty. The flame igniter produces the spark as you can see here. How simple can that be? The spark is produced by an electric current. Now comes the heavy fuel injection system. Fuel is injected through the spray bars. You can see 21 spray bars here. Each spray bar has more than 20 tiny holes. The fuel is sprayed at an ultra high pressure of more than 300 psi. In all, these spray bars can inject more than 11 liters of fuel in one second. So why doesn't the engine melt at such a temperature of 1700 degrees Celsius or 3000 degrees Fahrenheit? It's because the material used for the afterburner can withstand ultra-high temperatures. The afterburner chamber is built with highly effective thermal barrier coatings. Superalloys are a group of iron, nickel and cobalt used in jet engines which have a very high melting point. Still, an afterburner cannot be used indefinitely. 
every fighter jet has maximum time allowed for safe usage of afterburner. During the combustion phase, incoming air is heated by burning a much lower amount of fuel. So basically the afterburner is a reheat process or second stage of burning the fuel to increase the temperature of incoming air. That's why it's called afterburner. Why are afterburners so loud? The exhaust from a fighter in afterburner is leaving the engine at supersonic speed and creating shock waves. Even in military power, maximum without afterburner, the low bypass ratio engines in fighters have very high velocity exhaust, often supersonic, so are very loud. Fuel consumption. Taking the example of the F-35B, there are three different fuel consumption categories. First with normal fly without afterburner, the jet consumes 15 gallons of fuel per minute. While hovering, the fuel consumption is 60 gallons per minute. During max afterburner, the fuel consumed can go as high as 200 gallons per minute. Insane. This means the F-35 burns around 13 times more fuel when compared to flying without the afterburner. While the increase in speed is roughly 40% to 60%, which is again dependent on each fighter jet and weapons payload. How much speed is increased using an afterburner? F-16 cruises at between 450 to 550 knots, while full afterburner only increases that to about 700 to 800 knots with a typical underwing loadout. So, burning 8 times the fuel, you get around a 50% speed boost in an F-16. Cockpit views. Now let's see how the pilots activate the afterburner inside the cockpit. This is the throttle stick of F-16. Throttle stick is used to control the speed of the jet. At this position, the throttle is in idle state when the engine is off. Throttle is pushed forward when the engine starts. Then this is called full military power without an afterburner. At this point maximum RPM of fans is attained, which is 14,000 revolutions per minute. The throttle stick can be moved forward and backward to adjust the speed of the jet. When the throttle stick is pushed further, this activates max afterburner. Speeds. Let's compare the speeds of the fighter jets. This table shows the max speeds. Mach 1 or the speed of sound is equal to 767 miles per hour. Speed depends on various factors like aerodynamics, weight, weapons payload, single or twin engine etc. You can get an idea how fast these jet fighters can fly through powerful engines. If you like the video, do like and subscribe to get notified for upcoming videos.